Where on earth are os.environ variables stored? Well, the truth is they're not really stored anywhere that's useful for you to get at them. And let's kind of demonstrate this. So if we create ourselves a variable, say an API key, which is the sort of thing that we would want to store as an environment variable, uh, what should we call it? Super secret. Yep, that sounds about right to me. And we can demonstrate that this is stored by getting it. So we can os.getenv and get the API key. And if we print this, then we should see that, in fact, we've got our API key um, stored. So seemingly we have access to it from within our process. And there it is. Now, os.environ is actually a dictionary and we can go ahead and print that as a dictionary simply using the key to print the variable that we want. And there we see it again, super secret. But then we can also just print the whole dictionary itself. So let's do that. Let's get rid of API key and let's print the entire dictionary. And what on earth is this? Now, I don't remember entering any of this into the dictionary, providing any of those keys and values. So what on earth are these? Well, the truth is, if you look closely at this, all of these are variables which belong to the Python process. And so this dictionary belongs to a Python process, specifically the one that you're running right now. Now, that's all well and good, but where on earth is this stored? Well, the truth is that this dictionary only exists in memory. And when your Python process ends, so does the dictionary. Now, that's all well and good, but how can you store these environment variables so that you don't have to type them out every time or so that you don't have to have them hard coded into your code? Well, there's a package for that. And if you pip install python env, that is exactly what you'll get. So now we can create a .env file stored in the same location, the same directory as our main Python program, add a variable to it, and then we can access that variable from within our Python program. It's there all the time. Let's leave our import of OS right now. But then if we go ahead and from .env import load.env and then run this load.env function, What's going to happen is all of the variables from that .env file are going to get loaded into your program. And then you can access them in exactly the same way as before using os.getenv. And then you have a place where you can store your environment variables, where you can access them, and you're all happy.